Today I'm going to show you how to get the, the best out of that brilliant piece of freeware DVD shrink. Please excuse my croakier than normal voice. I'm suffering with the dreaded lurgy at the moment, so apologies, but you'll have to put up with Kermit commentating this one. Now, assuming you've already uh, preloaded the DVD you wish to back up into the optical drive, you start the process by clicking on this open disk button and that will invoke a pop-up which identifies the name of the movie. Click OK and now that would normally go through an, an, an analysis process but <clears throat> I've already bypassed that uh, for the sake of expediency. In this case it took only about a minute and 30 seconds so it's not very long. Um, now the whole idea with DVD shrink is to get this compression setting here up to as close to 100% as possible. That will give us a guarantee of a good backup. At the moment in this left hand panel this is everything that's currently set to backup which includes the main movie, all the menus and extras and all the stuff that uh, we probably don't need. So if we hit this compression, uh, sorry, if we hit this reauthor button here, click on the reauthor button and that will transfer everything from the left hand side to the right hand side. Now we currently have nothing set to back up. Uh, we want the main title so we just drag and drop that over into the left panel. Now we have the main title only set to back up. Hit this compression settings button now and you'll see that our compression ratio has gone up by some 5%. Now we can knock out other items that we don't really need. I won't be needing French or Italian audio so we'll knock those out and you'll see the compression ratio climbing as I do. Knock out all these little sub pictures. Of course if you want a particular set of uh, subtitles uh, feel free to keep them. I don't so now we've got the compression ratio up to 91.5 looking a lot healthier and now if we click on these little opposing arrows here we can adjust the start and end frame. I suggest leaving the start alone because there's not a lot to be gained by uh, adjusting the start frame but the end frame that's a different matter altogether we can get rid of all those credits that seem to roll by forever. Now you notice the, the running time is currently a little over 1 hour 53 minutes so we hit this reverse button till we get past all the credits and to the end of the movie. Close there. We just make the fine adjustment. Beautiful. Now we've knocked five or six minutes off the length of the movie, which of course also reduces the overall file size. Click OK. And now we have a much healthier compression ratio of 96.4. That's quite good enough for DVD shrink to give you a very good backup. So we click this backup button now and go to quality settings and you'll see these extra additional options here. These will only be available if the compression ratio doesn't get to 100% and these will compensate for that. So always click on the quality settings tab and make sure those two options are enabled if you don't get to 100%. Now all we do is click OK and the backup process will start immediately.